Hey everybody, it's me Chris. I'm back over here in the kitchen. Digivana Family Recipes. If you want to subscribe to my channel on YouTube, you'll get updates every time I make a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to make roasted peppers. And if you've ever had the one in the jar, you know, they're okay. But when you have the real deal and you make it at home yourself, it's a thousand times better. You won't believe it. Uh, and it's something that I grew up with my mother made it uh, almost every single Sunday uh, with Sunday dinner so I'm going to show you how she did it uh, we'll roast them in the oven and we'll finish them with some garlic and oil so um, let me show you the first step I got some bell peppers here all right I got a pan I put some foil on there all right just to make it easier to clean up I'm just gonna put a little bit of nonstick spray there and that's it I'll just put the peppers on the pan and now what I'm gonna do is I got the oven set to broil okay so that's the highest temperature on the top part I got the rack moved up towards the top I'm gonna put these peppers in there and really let them get blackened and uh, really this is one of the only dishes you can make where it's good to burn it you really want to burn off the skin so I'm gonna put them in the broiler I'm gonna let that skin get really black and charred and I'll check them and then I'll flip them and turn them and I'll keep doing that until the whole entire, all four of these peppers are completely black, charred, and I'll show you what to do after that. All right, so about 10, 15 minutes, this is what you're looking for. Nice, black, charred skin. I'm gonna flip these over, and another 10 to 15 minutes, they'll be ready. All right, so check it out. About 10, 15 minutes aside under the broiler, and this is what you have. You can see these are really nicely charred and the skin is wrinkled and they're fully cooked. So now what I'm gonna do is, my mom used to put these in a paper bag, but uh, I'm just gonna put them into a bowl that I have here. And that's four of them. And now I'm gonna cover this tightly with some plastic wrap. And what's gonna happen is, these are gonna steam inside the bowl. And what that'll do is, that'll help separate the skin. I'm going to leave them there until they cool off, and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so my peppers have cooled, and I want to show you how to clean them. So you can see these look really, really great. First thing you want to do is just squeeze out any excess juice so you don't make too much of a mess. And these are still a little bit hot, but I can handle them. And that's really the idea. You want to get them to the point where you can just handle them without burning yourself. And then first thing you want to do is take out the, the top part where the stem is. You'll open this up and then you can cut it into smaller pieces so it's easier to work with. And then all you want to do is take out the seeds and the rib part with your knife. And if you don't get every seed, that's fine. And then flip it over and this burnt and charred skin, this should peel right off. And if you need some help with your knife, just kind of scrape it and it'll come up for you like this. And again, I mean, it's not a perfect science. If you, if you get a little piece of the skin on there, it's perfectly fine. It's not a problem at all. Um, but I'll try and get most of it off. And then what you can do is you could either cut it or, you know, like my sister Angie, she does these. She just peels it with her hands like this, puts it into nice strips, and you can just put it right into your bowl. All right, so my roasted peppers are all cleaned and I, and, in, and I cut them into nice strips. And you could just serve them just like this, but uh, I'm gonna show you how I like to finish them. I got one clove of garlic here. I'm just gonna cut the end off and lightly tap it to loosen up the paper. I wanna keep this whole and just peel it. So my garlic clove is peeled and this is a big one, so I'm just gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it in half. But what I wanna do is I want really nice paper thin slices of garlic. So I'm just gonna cut them as thin as I possibly can. All right, so my garlic's ready. I got a hot pan here. And I'm using a really good quality extra virgin olive oil. I'm not using the regular stuff I cook with. Um, I'm just using something a little bit better. I'm gonna put it right into my hot pan. And you don't want to put too much. It's about a little less than a tablespoon. I'm going to put my garlic right into the pan. And then what I want to do is just watch the heat here. I'll lower it a little bit. But I want to 
toast my garlic. You can see how thin those slices are. And I want to just toast it till it's nice and light golden brown. All right, so this looks good. I don't want to burn my garlic. So I'm going to put my peppers and the juice right in. I'm just going to add a pinch of salt, some fresh cracked pepper. And I'm going to saute these peppers. I only want to saute them in two or three minutes. That's it, and they're done. All right, so these peppers are done, just sauteed, literally two or three minutes, and that's it. I'm going to put them into a nice serving bowl. There we go. And these things, the smell of these peppers is just really, really unbelievable. First of all, the smell of the roasted peppers on their own is unmistakable. That charred roasted pepper smell is just really, really incredible. And then when you add the extra virgin olive oil and a little bit of garlic, it just takes it over the top. I mean, your house will smell fantastic. I want to show you one of the ways I like to serve these. All right, so I got some nice fresh mozzarella here. I'm going to cut this into about quarter inch slices. Okay, I'll put this right into my serving plate here. I'm going to take some of my roasted peppers. And this is great in the winter when you really, you know, it's, it's, it's very like a, a caprese salad, but in the winter you can't get tomatoes. So I always make roasted peppers when I serve fresh mozzarella. I'll put the peppers, I'll mound them right in the middle, and I got some of my beautiful, uh, this is my homemade balsamic glaze. You can get the recipe on my channel, and I'm going to drizzle this right over the top. And there you have it. Alright, time to give this a try. Get a nice piece of the mozzarella, and of course the roasted peppers. Mm -mm -mm. That is so good. It's really hard to describe. And if you've never made your own roasted peppers, if, if all you've tried is a, is a jarred roasted peppers, uh, you know, I said it earlier, it's, it's not even in the same category. This is something totally different. It takes a little bit of effort, but you really got to try to make your own roasted peppers at home. You won't be disappointed. It's, it's absolutely phenomenal. I hope you try it, and I hope you liked the recipe, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video.